So the equines are really the main people for this job. They're the ones that are doing our whole job for us. Horses have their own way of moving and communicating with the kids that the kids understand that's a 1200 pound animal that's communicating silently but also extremely strongly. Over 60% of my clients come because they've experienced trauma in their life. I don't usually know what that trauma is and sometimes they open up and they tell me what happened to them but oftentimes they don't. I can't fix what happened to them in the past but I can help them not go back there and I can help them maybe become a better person because of both their experiences and learning how to be present. If our kids are able to ride a 1200 pound horse and communicate with it, whether they have cerebral palsy or Down syndrome, and they can be independent, then that is huge for them and it's amazing that our horses allow that to happen. I'm Jill Burkle and my sons are Richard and Jacob Burkle. They're identical twins with autism. I think when you have autism, you tend to have a whole world inside your brain and it's very difficult to reach out to people or things or places and being here gives them an opportunity to do that. They bond with the horse, they bonded with the people that work here and they have found a part of themselves that they don't have anywhere else. I think it's given them a better self-esteem and it's given them a sense of purpose and I think that they wonder about them when we're not here. They wonder if the horses are okay and they get a chance to feed them something and brush them and all of that is very therapeutic for the boys. When Anastasia was born, she was born with severe cerebral palsy. Her mother wasn't able to take care of her. And being my very first grandchild, there was no way in the world I'm, I was going to allow my first grandchild to die on me. So I took her and said, we will make sure this child survive. Anastasia had known Patty before, and when she found out Healing with Horses was open, let's go, that's all it took. And it has been heaven ever since. Anastasia rides usually twice a week. She rides an hour and a half each time, and you can really see the difference. You can see the difference in her movement. Whereas before, she could not push herself up with her chair, she can take her heels of her feet and push herself back up. Her posture has improved a lot. You can see with her feeding herself, it's remarkable. It really is remarkable. We adopted Joey when he was almost 15 months old. We were looking for a three to six year old and San Diego County found us this little 14 month old baby which was kind of a surprise to us, but we decided to tackle it. Joey was born to a homeless woman in San Diego, about three months premature, and he has a diagnosis of cerebral palsy and also autism and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Joey was 12 when he started at Healing with Horses. He has matured a lot. He's gotten a lot more focused. He's good when he's with the horses. He does what he's supposed to do. He has been riding Cool Man for about the last six months or so. I think that Joey's balance has improved a great deal. I, I think he feels good about how he rides. You know, when he wins medals and everything, he really feels good about himself. And, and he's always asking, are you proud of me? <laughs> like, yes, we're very proud of you. <laughs> In the state competition, he won two gold medals, and then he won the second place red ribbon at Healing with Horses. We have just been so blessed by him. And the love that just pours out of him is just amazing. He's just an amazing kid. He really is. 
Jocelyn has a Chiari 1 malformation. She also has two autoinflammatory diseases. Her specific diagnosis is autoinflammatory disease with familial Mediterranean fevers, which are both genetic disorders. I was watching the news one morning and they were talking about equine therapy. I always knew animals were such a good thing, but it just didn't hit me that that was an option. I called Patty and I was kind of nervous. I wasn't sure what to expect and she said, just come on out. My husband and I discussed it and we decided to try it. Jocelyn started riding Weston, who was her best friend. And they rode and rode and rode for a long time. But then Weston passed away. After Weston, I've been writing Dude ever since. Dude somehow must have known that that is Weston's writer and then chose me, but Chris also said he's a very emotional horse. Like if I'm hurting, he's gonna stop, refuse to move, not wanting to do anything until we do something to make me hurt less. It's neat that they have this amazing bond that they can create between horse and person. It's really neat. Her core and her balance has become much better. Jocelyn could not ride a bike without training wheels until about a year and a half ago. Riding gave her the encouragement to want to try to ride a bike. The way she feels about herself, her self-esteem, is I think one of the biggest things. Riding horses gives her something to be proud of. If you get first place at the rodeo, you get a belt buckle and a ribbon. I was riding Weston when I got first place in barrel racing. Riding has helped me with my joints becoming stronger and my confidence level. I think my husband and I look back at Healing with Horses Ranch and see where Jocelyn was to start. This little tiny shy girl who walked in there and looked up at these huge horses and you could tell was timid but excited to now an 11 year old girl who is turning into a very wonderful young lady and we give a whole lot of the credit to the ranch. I'm Danielle Wright. Uh, I am a veteran. Served in the military, uh, Army to be specific, for eight years and I have now been coming to the ranch for six months. Whoever you are, no matter how long you serve, no matter what branch of the military, you do not go in the same way you come out, you know, physically, mentally, or otherwise. I mean, I'm only 28 now, and the type of health problems I have now has doctors scratching their head because they don't see this stuff typically in, like, until, you know, someone's 60, 70 years old. Coming here is my equivalent to someone writing in a journal. Being able to be in my feelings or in whatever is going on that day and not having to voice it, but having the horses there just to, they can feel my energy and just, just that connection, that bond that is, it's just it's everything I've been looking for. It's, it's the love, it's the companionship and the compassion and I get all that without having to explain myself, without having to be verbal. Coming out here is an outlet. It's an outlet for me. I come out here to a ride. I volunteer. Sometimes I come out here because I just, I just, I need to go see a horse, or I just need to, you know, work through something or get my thoughts together. Um, I don't know. It's just that one place you just go to. Wiseman chooses me now. I'm not sure what it is. Between us, Wiseman is a retired race horse, and Patty said he didn't know how to horse when she got him, he kind of still doesn't. And so my joke is, I don't know how to human, and I figure that's why he chooses me or something, I don't know. He tells me something about myself I might not be aware of. There's been a few times when I just had, I struggled to breathe for whatever reason. I was out there in the field, I was alone, and he just kind of came and nudged me and calmed me down. So I, understanding, I guess, would be the term I would use, would be the relationship between us. I'm more patient in life now than I was um, before coming to the ranch. It's taught me how to deal, how to cope, and it's taught me how to be healthy. I can still be nonverbal, but there are different, better ways to deal with things.
and that's what the courses do for me. And you know, writing is fun, so that's great. I feel like the people here are very qualified to deal with my children and to help them and to get them where they need to be to be successful here. If we didn't have horses or volunteers, we would not be here. They're who feeds our animals, who make sure that our horses are conditioned. They're the ones who support our students and are a lot of our strongest aspects of when we go to shows and when we have summer camps and stuff like that. So without volunteers, it's me, Patty. <laughs> there are so many ways that it can help a person physically, but the emotional help that you get from bonding with the horse, the emotional benefits that you get from being able to work one-on-one -on -one like that, I think, are so worth it. It's the one animal that you can be truly honest with or around, and that makes them feel safe. So you're allowed to be angry and, and say you're angry. As long as your insides match your outsides, horses are attracted to that honesty. The only promise that I give most of my students is that you all have an hour and a half to breathe and just to be present. And that's hopefully what they can take home. And then hopefully they can transfer that to being present at home, not worrying about tomorrow, not worrying about what happened to them in the past, but being present.